Ruskiet here, and in this lesson, we will talk about one of three groups of plants known as local weed. More on this interesting group of plants following the intro song. In the meantime, take a look at the vocabulary words for this lesson. Ruskiet is his name, and speaking Russian is his game. If it is Russian, you would like to know. The Ruski Ed is the place to go. In a previous lesson, we talked about astragalus, which is one group of plant species commonly called local weed. Oxytropsis is another group of plants which bears that common name. The other plant species called local weed is Swainsona. But those plants are native to Australia and so outside our area of interest. The Red Book or Krasnaya Kiniga in Russian, lists four species of Oxytropsis. First of all, we have Astrolodashnik Shipavati, which contains the word sheep, and sheep means spike. And this plant is described as Kalochi, which means thorny, spiny, or prickly, as in Kalochaya Provalaka, which means barbed wire. And of course, Barbed wire is something we see a lot of in the western United States, as can be seen here just a few feet from the famous Pacific Crest Trail near Kennedy Meadows in the southern Sierras. But I digress. Moving on, we have Astrolodachnik muminabatsky. The species name refers to an area in Tajikistan which was part of the USSR until 1991. The dried flowers are pink bluish, which translates to Svetiv Vuisushenam Sastayani Rosova Galubataya, with Vuisushenam being derived from Vuisushits, which means to dry. Next we have Astrolodachnik Pachti Dlina Nushkavui. The species name literally means almost long-legged, with pachti meaning almost, dlini meaning long, and noshkavui being derived from naga, with noshki being the diminutive affectionate plural of naga. This species is found in the northeastern corner of Russia in the Kamchatka region. And finally we have Astra Lodachnik Tadamashirsky. The Red Book states that this plant is endemic rasi ostrov monoron sacrini agranicenim arealum, which means endemic to Russia, monoron island with an extremely limited range. Monoron island is on the east coast of Russia. It should be noted that agranicenim is derived from agranicits, which means to limit. And now for three facts about Oxytropsis. Astrolodachnik at nositsia ka semestvu babovui means Oxytropsis belongs to the P family. Zhivotnaya payada yushia astrolodachnik zabalavayut idaja mogut pagibnuts means animals which eat Oxytropsis get sick and may even die. And Lokovidi Pachana is Vesni Svaye Yadavitastu Dla Pasush Isya Jovotnik means local weeds are notorious for their toxicity to grazing animals. By the way, Pasushisya is a present active imperfective participle of pastis, and pastis means to graze. It should also be noted that Pichalna Izvesni means infamous or notoriously famous, with Pichalna by itself meaning regretfully or sadly, and Izvesni by itself meaning known or famous. And now for a quick joke about peas, since Oxytropsis is in the pea family. First, in English we have, how do you catch a polar bear? And the answer is, you cut a hole in the ice and line it with frozen peas. Then, when the polar bear goes to take a pea, you kick him in the ice hole. There's no way to translate the two key puns in this joke. In English, take a pea, spelled P-E-A, sounds like T 
Take a P, spelled P-E-E. -E. An ice hole sounds like a reference to the derriere. However, here's an approximate translation. Kak poimats bilava medvedya. Vui vui rezayetia dirku pat ledu i zasapayetia yio zamorojenim garoshkam. Zatem kagda medved poidot za goroham. Vui pinayetia yevolf pro rubs. That works for the literal meanings involving edible peas and an actual hole in the ice. And here's an alternative translation for the punchline which covers the other meaning. Zatem kagda medved poidot papisats vui pinayate yevolf jopu. And that's it for this lesson. Please show your support by clicking the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. This is Ruski Ed, signing out now. Das Vidanya!